Today we are going to tell you all about our Thousand Trails membership nightmare. <laughs> Experience. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> On April 24th, we purchased a pre-owned Elite Thousand Trails membership. Yes. About half the price of a regular Thousand Trails Elite membership if you buy it straight from Thousand Trails. Yeah. So we decided to go with the pre-owned option. Mm -hmm. uh, we got in contact with Camping Membership Outlet. Yes. And they were super knowledgeable. Yeah. Sat on the phone with us for... Efficient. Uh, yeah, uh, like an hour. Just mm -hmm. talking us through all the options. And so we made an informed decision on which package we were going to buy. So the Elite is what we went with. Mm -hmm. And... So basically, this will let us go to any thousand trails in the whole country. Yes. We can stay three weeks at a time, go park to park, mm -hmm. and uh, we thought that was the best option for us. It was ideal for us. Anyway, it cost us uh, about $4,300. Yes. And, well, seeing how we sent, spent uh, about $8,000 last year total in campground fees, mm -hmm. um, eventually this will pay for itself. Oh yeah, easily. When we purchased it, we were told that it would take about three to four weeks to get the whole process done, to draw up the contract, Trans send it over to transfer the... Transfer paperwork. Yeah, send it over to the sellers, all that stuff, yeah. back to us, and three to four weeks. We did this while we were stuck in, in Georgia Yeah. during the Rona lockdown. Mm -hmm. And we did that because we knew we were going to Florida for the winter. Yeah. And we figured, hey, we could probably save a bunch of money by being down in, in Florida at Thousand Trails. Mm -hmm. And um, also the Elite lets you book up to 120 days out. Yes. So we knew we'd have the advantage over the people who can only book 60 days out. Mm -hmm. And um, we figured we were going to be stuck in Georgia for three to four weeks anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> might as well go ahead and get an early jump on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we hit the road from Georgia again on June 2nd which was six weeks into the process yeah and we still had not heard gotten anything. our no yeah still hadn't gotten our our membership we knew it was taking a little longer because of the Rona mm -hmm. uh, so we were we were cool with that we kind of understood yeah uh, but at the six week mark we called and we talked to uh, camping membership outlet because we didn't know to call thousand trail yeah. directly yeah and so they told us, well, it's at Thousand Trails. We've done everything on our end, the yeah. purchasing process. It's been sent over to Thousand Trails to do the contract. Yeah. And so you got to contact them, which is cool, yeah, which we did. Maybe. And um, the phones weren't working. No, that was crazy. They weren't answering the phones. There was no voicemail options. It would just hang up on you or ring busy. It, yeah. For like two weeks, this happened. And we could not yeah. get through at all. Mm -mm. So we had no idea what was going on with our Thousand Trails membership. And at that time, we had already started hitting the road again. Yeah. Passing Thousand Trails <laughs> parks that we couldn't stay <laughs> in because our stuff wasn't processed. Yeah. And we were thought that we, by this time, would have it have, yeah. and be able to start using it. Mm -hmm. Not so much. At week eight, um, we finally got through to Thousand Trails. And uh, the person we talked to said that they weren't sure. Yeah. And that they would call that us back. It's, it's, it's being worked on. They said they would call us back. Yeah. No call back. No. Zero call back. And by the way, we throughout this process, we learned that there are two people yeah. that work at Thousand Trails that Just deal. Just two. That's it. That do transfers. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, a male Insane. and a female. And another part of the problem is whoever's working on your thing is the only person that the can work on your one. thing. Yeah. So even if you call and get a hold of the one that's there, if your person is not there, they can't tell they you anything. They won't tell you a thing. That's so not their case. They're not working on it. Can't help you. Yeah. So <laughs> there we were, eight weeks in, still knew nothing. And uh, so this is double the time that we were told now. So we're starting to get a little frustrated. Yeah, because you think, okay, things are slower. They're working from home. Processes aren't as fast from yeah. home as it is in an office. But we're double the time. It shouldn't really take double the time definitely not it's, it's a little much so they did not call us back and so we big gave, shocker yeah 
we gave it a, a couple more weeks. So on week 10, um, this was around the 4th of July holiday. Mm -hmm. So we called and the reps that were working on uh, transfers were out of the office. Yeah. And we were told to call back the following week. We, yeah. Which we did. So we called back and we talked to one of the reps. Yes. The male rep. Yes. We're not mentioning names. <laughs> uh, but we talked to him and he said, um, I don't know why it hasn't been processed. Uh, the contract's done. It's just sitting here. Yeah. And no one's done anything with it. So he said, well. I um, will send it out. I'll send it out today. <laughs> Which he did. He did send it he to the seller that He was a man of day. his word. He did send it out. And so now we're at week 13. We still hadn't heard anything. Um, so we called back at week 15 because mm -hmm. we gave it a few weeks. More than probably we should have because yeah. all it was was the digital signature. So the seller got it that day we called. Yeah. Really should have only took a couple days. It was sent to the seller. But the seller... Hadn't sent it back. Yeah, so we're like, what's going on? And we called Thousand Trails. They didn't know. They said, hey, it's we send it seller. to the seller. That's all we can do. And I'm like, what? No one's going to follow up with them. Make sure they got the email. Make sure they know what to do with it. How to, you know, because it's all digital yeah. signatures. So is somebody going to walk them through the process or even make sure that they even got it? Yeah. So we contacted Camping Membership Outlet again and said, hey, look, Thousand Trails has sent the contract to the seller mm -hmm. and they're not telling us anything they won't tell us anything and they sent it to them two weeks ago but because it was going through camping membership outlet they had the point of contact for the seller yes she she could call them so she reached out to the seller and found out the seller had deleted the email because he didn't recognize it yeah <laughs> so then she had to contact thousand trails to get him to resend the contract yeah so they did that and then they signed it and got it to us we signed, we signed it. it sent it in and then by this time we're at week 16 16 weeks in yeah four times as long as they said it would take originally <laughs> yeah we're at week 16 and we finally signed our portion yeah and then so a couple of of days later i'm like everything's signed why haven't we, we gotten got our an email thing? saying congratulations yeah welcome to thousand trails so something I, so i call and I'm like, everything's done. What is going on? And he says, Oh, it's done. Yeah. You you can start you can start booking. I'm like, Well, who was gonna tell us? He said, Well, you get a welcome, <laughs> well, welcome packet in the mail. In the mail. Shortly. Yeah. <laughs> but over the phone, we were able to get our new our new number, our new pin number, so that we could start booking into Thousand Trails, which we immediately did. did. Yeah. Start booking in into those. And then we add, we wanted to add on the uh, Encore properties, which is um, more properties that are affiliated with Thousand Trails so that you have more places to potentially stay at. Yes. And so that was... Um, we did that right away. How much was that? That was two ninety nine. Okay, so 300 bucks to add yes. on that. And so we did that online and that was immediate. Yes. Easy. And the, the day we talked to the guy, he said, it's done, you're good, you have a membership. Yeah. We told him we wanted to add RPI. Right. So he said he put us on the wait list. They'll call us. Yeah. And RPI is Re Resorts Park International, and it's another affiliation with Th Thousand Trails. Mm -hmm. So Thousand Trails is mostly like the perimeter uh, edges of the country. RPI has properties in, in the Fills center in the gaps. and all yeah. over. So And you can stay at those if you add on. It's $125 a year. If you add on those, then you can stay at those parks for like $10 a night. 10 to 20 depending on the park yeah so we wanted to add that so that between thousand trails and between military places that we stay at yeah we would have another option yeah and it's only 125 bucks so we called uh well when we got processed through the whole deal we, we waited a week well we asked them we wanted to be at we wanted the rpi yeah and so the guy at thousand trails says they don't you don't you can't call them they call you they call you he's like i'll put you on the waiting list for them to call okay. you back. Yeah. And they should contact you sometime Shortly. this week. Mm -hmm. Okay. A week goes yeah, by. A week went by. Nothing. So we call RPI. Yeah. A week in and said, uh, hey, what's going on? We're trying to add RPI to our Thousand Trails membership. Nobody's called us. No one's called us. 
they said, oh, you're third on the list. Yes. Someone should call, call you, you within... by the end of the week. Yeah. And so and this was like on a Monday or Tuesday. I was like, okay. A week goes by. <laughs> Still no call. Nothing. We're trying to purchase something from someone. <laughs> We're like fighting to try to buy something from, from someone. Yeah. And it's like pulling teeth to try to get to buy their product. It's crazy. Yeah. So two weeks ago, we call and the lady's like, I don't know. No, nah, I'm not sure. She's like, they should, um, they should be calling you anytime. They should be calling you. And I'll, she's like, I'll send it over to a supervisor. Yes. I'll have a supervisor call you by the end of the week. That's the third time we've heard by the end of the week something will happen. Yeah. Week goes by. Nothing. No supervisor <laughs> calls at all. This is crazy. This is just like Thousand Trails. Big shock. Like every time we call, it's like no one knows anything. They're not keeping notes in the system mm -hmm. to, to tell the next rep that we talked to what what's going on exactly what has happened yeah in the what past. was discussed previously exactly yeah so at this point we're but like pissed if it is in the system and they they just don't care yeah so. <laughs> so another week goes by we call back again and we get another rpi rep and i'm like look it's been three weeks like we're like really trying to buy something from you i've never had this hard of a time trying to purchase something from someone you know yeah and um She's looking around, looking around. Yeah, she's like, you're not even on the she's list. She's like, I don't see you on the list of call. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, but I can add you right now. But I can. No problem. Yeah, we can do this over the phone right now. So I gave her a Thousand Trails membership number. I gave her our credit card okay. information. She plugged it in. Gave she us gave our us member number, yeah. for RPI. Our, ad, our access stuff. Yeah. And we're good to go. Like, like that. So nobody three weeks ago could have done that. Yeah. Nobody two weeks ago when we called could do that. Yeah. I had to be the third week person we talked to. So. Crazy. From the beginning of this, it's going to take three to four weeks. And we, are, we were cool with it taking a couple more weeks because of the Rona. Yeah. Totally cool with it. Even if it took twice as long, would have been cool with that. Yeah. Would have been fine with that. Yeah. But, but when all was said and done. After we got our Thousand Trails membership transferred, we got our Encore added and RPI added. 19 weeks total. Yeah. 133 days <laughs> it took to write a contract, get everybody to sign it, and and purchase all the add-ons. Yeah. It should have took way Look less that. time than that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely. What blew me away is every person we talked to along the way, never, I mean, we come from working in hospitals. Mm -hmm. The customer service, you know, is a big deal. And not one person ever, except for the man who actually got the paperwork pushed to the sellers. Yeah. He was the only one that ever apologized for confusions and delays and, and like, stood up for like as the company on mm -hmm. behalf of them i apologize for that's true and we delays. talked to several people and and what we most was, people acted like we were an inconvenience by oh yeah, calling like we're putting them out yeah and uh, i also failed to mention that almost every time we called thousand trails we were on hold for at least 30 to 45 minutes some one time we were over, uh, an, over hour. an hour for them to come back and say don't know I, I don't know where it is in the process but somebody will call you back yeah, so several phone calls, several hours of conversation on the phone. Mm -hmm. And we're telling you all this so that if you are considering purchasing a Thousand Trails membership pre-owned, you have to drive the train. Yes, you, you do. are going to have to stay on top of them. We just had friends purchase one. Same and, situation. And we kept them in the loop of what was happening to us. So they have been on top of them. And they've had to call almost yeah. weekly to get things moving. And they just got theirs through and it was nine weeks. Yeah. Only so, because they learned from us. Exactly. And so they were calling every week. We would skip, you know, two or three weeks sometimes. Now they had a zone pass already. That might have helped them too because it they were have. already in the Thousand Trail system. Yeah. You know, so that probably shortened their time regardless. Yeah. So uh, the whole purpose of this video is just to let you know what to expect if you are purchasing a pre-owned uh, membership from Thousand Trails. Once um, again, in our background with the hospital, they push it down the staff's throats, patient, set the patient's expectations. Yeah. Manage that. If you tell somebody it's going to take 
16 to 20 weeks. Then you're cool with I'm it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. It, that sucks, but yeah. cool. If it happens sooner than that, we're pleasantly surprised. If yeah. it takes that amount of time, we're not shocked because that's what they told us it could take. Yeah. Camping membership outlets yeah. were great. Yes. Very knowledgeable. Um, they, they did everything quick, that they were supposed to do. Quick to help you, quick in responses when you left messages. She's e even once called us at like 7 at night. She gave and me her personal number. Yeah, we didn't expect to hear from her that night and she called us. Yeah, you know? so if you are considering purchasing a pre-owned Thousand Trails membership, we definitely recommend Camping Membership Outlet. Yes. We will put a link in the description of this video below so that you can go and check out their website and see what all kinds of uh, packages that they have available. Um, but just be prepared to have to stay on top of Thousand Trails and yeah. pre be prepared to have to wait for a while to get so if you're wanting it for the beginning of next year, you better start looking now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See what I, packages are available and start the process now. Yeah, and I'm sure that, that once the Rona thing is all over with, it will go back to closer to oh, normal. Oh, sure. Um, once they can be back in their offices and fully operational, speed will pick up. Yeah. Um, so we have not stayed at any of the Thousand Trails yet. We've already booked some. Yes. And so probably about six months from now to a year from now, We'll put out yeah. another video just to kind of give you an idea of uh, what, how we're liking our membership, how mm -hmm. it's working out for us, uh, how much money that we're saving, or how long it took us to repay what it cost us to purchase the membership. Yeah. And um, and then we'll let you kind of know if we think it's worth it. If anybody's wondering, oh, they must, because it was such a terrible experience, they must regret doing it. Absolutely not. No. Knowing how it is, the process was, would we go back and still purchase? Absolutely. Yeah. We I mean, really yeah. want it. Yeah. So it's by no means a deterrent. Right. By saying all the negative, it's just know what you're getting into ahead of time. Realistically, right now. Yeah. In this world we're living in. Yeah. Don't let this video deter you from making the purchase. Uh, it was just to just plan ahead. Let you know what to expect yeah. in the process. If you're considering it, you might want to start it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can use it when you are wanting to use it. Exactly. Because we were like, oh, we'll get it now and we can, when we leave here in June, we can start using it. But yeah. that was not the case. We didn't get to use it at all this summer. Yeah. And from the time that we, from the time that we thought that we should have should, had it. Yeah. To the time that we actually got it, we missed four to five thousand trails campground opportunities. opportunities. Yeah. And so that cost us several hundred dollars. Yeah. Because we had to stay places that we had to pay and, and versus, uh, well, we would have made some of our initial uh, investment back, back already. Yeah. Several hundred of that we would have already made back, but yeah. we didn't get the opportunity to do that. But we are going to save a bunch when we're down in Florida. In Florida. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, we'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. If you have any questions or concerns about uh, Thousand Trails and pre-owned memberships, leave us a comment down below and we will be happy to answer that. Mm -hmm. um, if you have had issues with Thousand Trails or whatever your experience is, uh, put it in the comment below and let us know. Uh, and then people yeah. who are watching this can also Helps go down. Set our expectations yeah. <laughs> using Thousand Trails. Exactly. So yeah, let us know what you think about your Thousand Trails membership, yeah. or uh, let us know if you're thinking about getting a Thousand Trails membership. And uh, as we go along, we will let you know how it goes. And um, if you have any questions, uh, we are always here. So reach out. Mm -hmm. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we are going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.